growing up, my family watched uh, two kinds of music, uh, two kinds of movies the, overall. We watched sports movies, like that one, and we watched musicals. And one of my favorites then was a movie that combined the sports movie with a musical. And that movie was called The Darn Yankees. It wasn't called, it was called something else. But with my sister and I, we called it the Darn Yankees because we didn't want to have to pay money to the swear jar. And so the Darn Yankees was one of my favorite movies growing up. And it tells the story, it tells the story about a fan of baseball who uh, made a deal with the devil so that he would become a good baseball player and be uh, one of the best, uh, an all-star in baseball. And uh, it turns out he sold his soul to the devil and became a really good baseball player. But as we will find out, uh, selling your soul to the devil has some downsides. <laughs> and, uh, and we actually have lots of different stories uh, like that. Uh, we, we have different stories in our, in our literature and in movies where that happens consistently. You could think about The Little Mermaid, where Ariel gives up uh, her voice and et cetera and, and ends up becoming one of those little squiggly things. Uh, you, when, you make a, when you make a deal with the devil, it always ends up costing you big time. Uh, we, so we get it in The Little Mermaid, we get it, it with Faust uh, and Mephistopheles. Uh, there's lots of ways that we tell this story. Um, but it turns out uh, that when we make a deal with the devil, it means that we give up our freedom for something that we want. And to contrast that, what we see in this passage with the great substitute is that the gift of salvation means that Jesus gives his life up so that we can be truly free. And we want to, if, if, you, if you take nothing else from today, I want you to take this idea that Jesus has given us salvation by giving up his life for our freedom. And that's the, the story that we see with Barabbas here in John chapter 18, 